Hello, this is Brother Des coming to you today from Prophetic Bible Teachings for Sunday, May the 15th, 2022. You may follow this ministry on YouTube, Facebook, My Story, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Pinterest. You can check us out also on the website, www.corbenj.com. Make sure that you view, share, and pray for this ministry as we teach the prophecies of the Bible. I must say happy Sunday and God's blessing to you and your families. We continue our studies from the book of Revelation. Today we will begin our teaching in Revelation chapter 22, which is the last chapter of that book and the last chapter within the Bible, God's Holy Word. The theme of uh, chapter 22, like 21, is also God's future blessings. As we look at the background, we remember now in Revelation 21, 1 through 27, we studied the new heaven and the new earth, the new Jerusalem, the new living, the new assurance. And last time before Mother's Day, we looked at the new Jerusalem described. And in that, we saw its four walls, 12 foundations, precious stones, pearls, uh, and many other precious uh, stones there. Also, we found that it had 12 gates, and one, um, and on each gate, a name of the 12 tribes of Israel. And so we also saw that there were foundations, 12, and on those 12 foundations will be the 12 apostles, the names of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. Now this brings us to paradise. So that brought us right up in the new Jerusalem. John saw it coming down out of heaven and the new earth. So now it brings us to paradise. The whole thing together makes up paradise. But this chapter in 22 is all about the blessings of God Almighty in paradise. The final Eden. So, we will be teaching on the following topics. The blessings of paradise, first five verses. The blessings of the faithfulness and truthfulness of the things that must shortly be done as predicted in the book of Revelation. Then we'll look at the blessings from adhering to the prophecies of this book of Revelation. Then there are blessings of being a fellow servant of God and keeping the sayings of this book of Revelation. Then we look at the blessings to teach the prophecy of the book of the Revelation. And the number six will be the blessing of following God and his word according to Revelation uh, 14 to 15 verses in chapter 22. Then we'll look at the blessings of having these teachings in the church of Jesus Christ. It's amazing. That's what it says in verse 16. And then we'll look at the eighth uh, portion here. We'll look at the blessing for coming to Jesus Christ, knowing him as Lord and Savior. And we'll see that in verses 17 and 18. We'll look at the curse to take something from the Word of God in this book of the Revelation, to take it out. The Bible calls it a curse. And then we'll look at the blessing of His coming in verses 20 through 21. So let's study. The lesson for today is the blessings of paradise. The Bible tells us, And He showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and out of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river there was there, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve men of fruits and yielded her fruits every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, 
and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads, and there shall be no night there, and they will not need a candle, neither the light of the sun, there'll be no more sun, for the Lord God giveth light, and they shall reign forever and forever. As we look at this, there are some things there that we can see are blessings. As we start off with the river of life. Can you imagine sitting by the river of life? The Bible says in verse 1, John said, and he showed me. Watch the blessings. John is still in the spirit. And as a spectator to all the future events shown to him by this angel, who will be one that will be directing the seven vials of judgment, the last seven uh, vials of God's judgment on earth. And John said, he showed me, what? One, the pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding or flowing out from the throne of God and of the Lamb. So we see, first of all, a pure river of water, no contaminations, clear as crystal, proceeding or flowing from the throne of God. What a sight. And then there is something else. He showed me the tree of life. But can you imagine a river flowing out from the throne of God? This means that the throne of God is not just some seat, but it's a big place, huge place. Can you imagine uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of angels, John said, that were there around the throne of God or in the throne of God? Can you imagine? And so next we see the tree of life. It says that in the midst of it, a tree on either side of the river. In the Greek, it says, in the midst of its street, and on the river, on this side and on the other side. Tree of life. Note, it didn't say the tree of life. It just says on this side and on that side of the river. Two sides. Tree of life. There are no articles. So it's tree of life. If we give an interjection here. In the original paradise, the Garden of Eden was there. And there were two trees. There was a tree of life. And there was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Man was to live by the tree of life. But he was not to touch. Or eat of the tree of good and evil, lest he'll die. God is recreating his paradise. Two trees of life. John said one on this side, one on the other side. Note, everything in the eternal paradise is life and not death. Even in verse 3 of the same passage of scripture, it states that, and there shall be no more cuss, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. His servants shall serve him. Note, in the Garden of Eden, look at the difference. The cussed being Satan, who was cast out of heaven for trying to be equal with God, was now in the form of a snake, and he deceived the garden dwellers, Adam and Eve. But here in paradise, we find in this paradise of Eden, there will be one, the throne of God and of the Lamb. The throne for the Godhead. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're all one. One God. Then it'll be his servants. Not like Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve did not serve him. They disobeyed him. And went along with what Satan was telling them. But here the saints will be with God and the Lamb. And the saints will serve him. 
We now come to the tree of life. Let's take a closer look at it. On both sides of the river, that's what it seems, the action of the tree of life. What will it do? In the Greek New Testament, it says in that language, producing fruits 12. Month each yielding fruits. It's, mean it's fruits, it's yielding. And the leaves of the tree for the healing of the nations. What the tree does? Each month yielding. Producing fruits. Twelve various kinds of fruits. What a tree. We see a lot of trees today. We don't see them bringing forth 12 different fruits. Yielding of fruits every month. It would appear, watch this now, that in paradise, the physical makeup of the eternal body could be that, similar as we know it, a vegetarian. Something to think about. Because what would we have here? Fruits and leaves. Remember 1 Corinthians 15, 53, and 54 says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on, must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then that's a time word. Shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. New bodies, not tired, not sleepy, not weary, but life, life, life. Living eternal life. And the scripture says next, the leaves are for the healing of the nations. Remember now, in the new earth, we will freely eat of the fruit of the same tree that nourish Adam and Eve. Note, Revelation 2, 7 says, To him who overcomes, I will give him the right, or her the right, to eat of the tree of life, which is in paradise of God. Revelation 2, 7. Then Ezekiel had a, a prophecy which uh, mirrors Revelation 22. Note, fruit trees of all kinds will grow on both banks of the river. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail. Every month, they will bear because, note, the water from the sanctuary flows to them. Their fruit will serve for food and leaves for healing. Can you imagine? Ezekiel way back had this prophecy even before John in Revelation 22. Ezekiel 47, 12. Now, I was looking at this word for healing. And in the Greek language, the Greek New Testament, the word is therapon. Therapon. Which means an attendant, a servant, a minister. Those who render service. Service and attendance. To render divine service and worship. So whatever it is about this tree for the healing of the nations, the leaves will be for the enjoyment of eternal life. Also in the Greek text, it tells us that on two trees of life will be there. One on this side and one on the other side of the river that's flowing out of the throne of God and the Lamb. Note. Unlike Eden, the blessing is to be in a place where there is no curse. And there shall be no curse, according to this next verse. But blessings, because 
the throne of God will be there, and in the Lamb, and his servants shall serve him. Blessings to look on the face of God, and they shall see his face. Remember, Moses could not see the face of God. He would die. But remember we just said, we are changed. This corruptible will have put on incorruption and this mortal immortality. And so we can see the face of God. The next blessing, to have the name of God on your forehead. Way, wow. Talking about tattoos, the saints will have a divine tattoo. The Bible says, his name shall be on their foreheads. Think about it. Look at the other blessing. To live in a place where there is no night. <laughs> Some people try to live uh, all night now, but they get weary and have to sleep all day. But notice, this is a good one for you. There shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light. What a blessing. And the next blessing, they will reign forever and forever. These are the blessings of paradise. And they shall reign forever and ever. This means that the believers of Jesus Christ will be in his throne. There will be a new Jerusalem where the throne of God will be. Also, there will be a new earth and a new heaven. Who will live in the new earth? Well, God made a promise with the children of Israel that those who accept Christ as their Messiah, they will have the land forever and forever in the Palestinian covenant. Ezekiel 16, 60 says, Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth. I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Leviticus 26, 42 says, Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with, with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember? And I will remember the land. Ezekiel 37, 26 says, Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, everlasting. And I will place them and multiply them and set note my sanctuary in the midst of them how long forevermore. That remnant that turns to God and acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Not only will they be living in the beloved city during the millennium, but they'll be transported. Revelation 22:21 closes our lesson for the day. It says, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. With you all. Amen. So let it be. And talking about grace, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 reminds us, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. We have nothing to do with it. It's the grace of God. It's a gift of God. Jesus Christ, who died on that cross, not by works. We could never walk our way to heaven or be in this new Jerusalem. Because we would boast. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. So today, any person may apply by faith the grace of God and be saved. Just call on him and talk with him. Ask him to come in and he'll save you from your sins. God's blessings and his grace be upon you and your families today, with love, Brother Des, have a great day, great Sunday.